Hello and welcome to Craft with Sarah. This video is a little bit different to normal because I'm not sharing a craft project with you today. Instead, I thought I'd give you a little glimpse into my craft studio and some of my favorite ways to store and organize my craft supplies. And if you need a helping hand with home or craft room organization, make sure you stick around until the end to find out about a fun event that I'm speaking at in September. But first, let's take a tour of my craft studio. This is the office where my team and I work from. It's in a beautiful converted farm building in the countryside with high ceilings and a lovely light and airy atmosphere. We've been here for about 18 months and I'm really happy here. There's lots of room for storage and craft supplies and it's great to be able to step outside the door and be in the countryside for lunchtime walks and getting some fresh air. There's a kitchen area, a bathroom and a smaller office at the back which I use for recording my craft tutorials. One of the things you may have noticed is the big shelf of cardstock. As we get through lots of card when testing new designs, I like to have it all on display so it's easy to look through and to find the perfect shade of card. The shelves are from a hardware store and they originally had brown shelves but I covered them in marble effect peel and stick wallpaper to make them a little bit prettier. I also covered the glass at the back of the shelves with more sticky wallpaper to block off the smaller room behind and to match in with the white and grey theme. Heavy duty shelves are recommended for this much card as it weighs a lot. If you're storing cardstock on display like this, make sure it's out of any direct sunlight, otherwise it may bleach or discolour the card. To make it easy to search through the different colours of card, I use these white metal bookends in between them. They are sturdy enough to keep the card upright between colours and make it a bit more secure because there are some gaps between the colours, although not many at the moment as I've only recently done a cardstock order so the shelves are rather full at the moment. That's how I store new card, but what about scraps? It's been quite a bit of trial and error finding the perfect card scrap solution, but what works really well for us are these trolleys that can hold a lot of hanging files. We separate scraps out by colour and store them in these folders. The shelves pull out to make it easier to find what we're looking for. The shelves are on wheels so we can move them around the office to wherever we are crafting at the time. Previously, we used to store card scraps in folders like this. They were then placed in IKEA Kallax boxes. This worked well for about two years until we got too many scraps to fit into the boxes. It was also getting difficult to move the boxes about with so much card in it. The folders now have a much better use instead. We tend to test cut new designs and then stick them together on a later day. This was causing issues as we were quickly running out of desk space to store them all without moving any of the little pieces around. Then we had the idea to use the folders. Because they open a long way and they don't have any static electricity in them, the layered designs slip in easily and the tops of the folders don't touch against them, meaning that not only can we store multiple designs in one place by piling the folders up, but we can take them out again and not have to put all those little pieces back in place. One of the biggest storage challenges was where to keep all the layered cardstock Cricut crafts that we've made. There are hundreds, maybe even over a thousand. The solution was these shoe display boxes. They come flat packed but they are easy to make and they are stackable. We cut white vinyl labels with a Cricut to say what the theme of the designs is in each box. The boxes are also great for storing craft supplies, for example all of this heat transfer vinyl. The only designs we store differently are the layered dogs. These go in ring binder folders and plastic wallets so that we can easily find a specific dog breed when we are creating videos for TikTok or Instagram. There are over 200 dogs in total so it was important to find a way to label them. One thing I love is to repurpose storage solutions for my crafts. I have a slight Nuvo drop and shimmer powder obsession and was struggling to see all the colours when they were stored flat. This nail varnish holder is perfect for keeping them all organised. The trays next to it were also sold as makeup boxes but they work great for my Cricut blades, pens and other small accessories. Saving space is also important to me, especially as my team grows and we need more computer space in the main room. 
This filming room was originally really cramped because I had my lights mounted onto big, bulky tripods that required lots of floor space. It was hard to move around the room and it felt really crowded. Switching to table mounted stands was a real game changer. I was able to move the desk much closer to the wall and there are now no big tripod legs to trip over whenever someone comes in the room. And it looks much neater too. I left the biggest of our storage solutions until last. IKEA Kallax boxes are my absolute go-to for storing craft supplies. I love how large and deep the boxes are. They can fit so much into them and everything looks so neat and tidy when it's all put away and the boxes are slid into the gaps. The most expensive storage in my craft studio are these IKEA Havster cabinets. I fell in love with them when I saw them and knew that they would look beautiful. I keep the shelves mostly for display purposes only, which is why it's currently extremely covered in Halloween decorations. The cupboards are full of all my crafting blanks, shadow boxes, stationery, card making toppers and embellishments, laser cutting accessories and more. They might not be the neatest cupboards ever when you look inside, but I know where everything is. And once the doors are closed, you'd never know that there is so much hiding in there. So there you have it, a little overview of where I come to work every day and how I organise all my craft supplies. To learn more about any of the storage solutions shown in this video, check out the video description. I hope that you enjoyed taking a look around my craft studio with me and seeing some of my organisation tricks and tips. If this has inspired you to get organising your craft supplies or even your entire home, I've got something special for you that's happening very soon. Get Organised Virtual is your one-stop shop for all things life and home organisation. It's a five-day online event that starts on the 11th of September and centres around practical real-life strategies for creating homes filled with more peace and less stress. This year, over 100 smart, friendly and expert women are sharing their tips, tricks, advice and secrets on everything from budgeting and meal planning to decorating and decluttering. And there's a whole section on crafting too. My class is on simplifying your holiday crafting by creating repeatable and quick to make cards on a Cricut machine. I'll be showing you how to make this cute little Santa gnome side edge card. And yes, the free SVG file is included. You can see exactly who is speaking and claim your free ticket at craftforsarah.com forward slash G-O-H-Q. After signing up for the free ticket, you'll be given the option to upgrade to the all access pass. The All Access Pass gives you immediate access to all classes, videos and tutorials from the event, which means you can get started straight away. Projects in the All Access Pass do not expire, so you can access them whenever you want as many times as you want. You'll also get exclusive bonuses from many of the speakers, including printables, organisation help, e-courses, craft tutorials and, of course, even more side edge greetings cards from me. If you decide to purchase the All Access Pass, you'll get all these side edge greetings card SVGs included at no extra cost. But first, you need a free ticket. So head over to craftwithsarah.com forward slash G-O-H-Q right now to get registered. I hope to see you there for Get Organised Virtual. Thank you for watching. Bye.